Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Azimatul Hanim binti Ahmadun So the first of the presentation I will explain about the background of the Nestle company So Nestle company start the company in 1866 And the first company uh, was called as the Anglo-Swiss Condensed Milk Company and on 27 November 1936 the name of the company was changed again into the Nestle and Anglo-Swiss uh, Holding Company the company founder which is Henry Nestle that work has a, a pharmacy was developed milk formula uh, that become uh, their first product of the company uh, about the Nestle company in Malaysia, Nestle Malaysia was established in uh, 1912 and Mutiara Damansara, Petaling Jaya and Selangor are the location for the Nestle Malaysia head office. There are a few well-known brands for the product in uh, Nestle Malaysia. For example, we have Mickey, Nescafe, Milo, KitKat, Nesvita and more of the brand name uh, of the product and they also uh, produce pet care product like Friskies and Purina. Okay, Malaysia, uh, Nestle Malaysia was developed their vision and mission to make sure they, they, they have a target what they want to achieve in the future. So for the vision of the Nestle Malaysia, they want to become a leader in nutrition, health and wellness company by delivering world class product of the highest consistent quality, reliability and convenience. And about the mission of the Nestle company, they, they want to enhance the quality of life with a good food and beverage everywhere so people can uh, have a good lifestyle can and live with the healthy life Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Siti Asya Pinti Rosmi so my part is supply chain management strategy and issue of problem faced by the Nestle for the supply chain management strategy, there are three strategies that apply by Nestle. The first one is systematic transportation and distribution system. Second one is a vendor management. Third one is a information technology. For the systematic transportation and distribution system, Nestle depends on their transportation and distribution network to manage the organization. The company switch from traditional modes of transportation such as road transportation, uh, example truck and others, to the short sea or train transportation. It would that to reduce the environment pollution. They also make sure that the supply of product is balanced and in out with the demand. Next play distribution process is seen with the production system. It provide an advantage for them because they do not have to manage their inventory for the longer period of time. The second strategy is vendor management. Vendors are well coordinated with revenue and procurement scene with production and other support department. It can save the organization cost of raw material management. Vendor also able to maintain very low inventory level and make sure that the raw materials reach to the organizations on time. And the third one is uh, information technology. Information technology is used to manage a relationship between vendor and can design procurement work network that integrate with a uh, various department and the procurement division can have information technology based application that uh, also integrate with vendor and automate system. They will be able to plan their own delivery and production planning accordingly. Then we go to the issue or problem faced by a Nestle. Also, there are three issues here. The first one is destruction of operation due to shortage of raw material. Shifting warehouse model, warehouse model cost Nestle to cut 4,000 jobs, destruction impacting the information technology infrastructure. 
for the destruction of the operation due to shortage of raw materials. Actually, the raw material that purchased by Nestle is direct from a farmer and the buy through a trade. From a farmer is a milk, cocoa, coffee, fruit, potato, vegetable, and cereal. Why? Oil, spice, sugar, meat, and other ingredients are sourced from the trade. So, um, Nestle, the problem is Nestle do not have their own uh, any com uh, commercial farming activity to produce their own material. So, they also have a problem to fulfill the increased demand of Nestle product of food when the resource of raw material from land and water are limited. Second problem is a shipping warehouse model uh, cost Nestle to cut 4,000 jobs. Before this, they apply uh, the direct to store model uh, uh, so that they can know uh, they can replace the product um, which is uh, less in the truck. I mean, they can replace it immediately. Okay, so it was too expensive for, uh, for the Nestle. Then, uh, they find the other alternative, which is, uh, then it's often make more sense to ship the product to warehouse to cut the cost. Um, because of that, they need to eliminate the operation that include 230 facilities, 1,400 trucks with 2,000 different routes. This action was able to trim cost of transportation operation and workers and the third one is a destruction impacting the information technology infrastructure nowadays the increased use of the manufacturing distribution and logistic partner resulting in complex international supply chain relationship which is it leading to increased uh, recognition of the danger in the supply chain example destruction of system, network, facilities, office, hub and uh, occur that um, cause loss of framework functionality. And that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Noah Gain and now I'm going to present about the views of supply chain driver to achieve strategy fits and address the issue. So the first driver is facilities. Nestle can increase the speed of response by increasing the number of facilities and this making them more flexible and increasing their capability. And then Nestle can address the problem with disruption of operation due to the supply due to the shortage of raw material. This is because Nestle are facing problem with a raw material because they do not own their own commercial farming activities to produce their own materials. So, Nestle can use these drivers by increasing the facility to produce their own raw material and this can help them to decrease cost and faster service in facilities. And then, the second driver is inventories. Nestle has stored product in many places it, so it can get a faster response, making the, the stock closer to the customer and immediately available to them. And then, Nestle can solve all stock problems by hiring professionals to buy the necessary inventory and ensure effective collaboration with suppliers to minimize inventory level. For example, like if Nestle has an overstock supply in their supply chain, Nestle can use metrics such as products with more than a specific number of days of inventory it can use to identify the products that are in oversupply to identify reasons that justify the higher inventory. And then, the third driver is transportation. Nestle can use transportation modes that is fast and flexible, such as truck and aeroplanes. For example, with the use of this supply chain driver, Nestle can gain additional response by storing product in multiple locations and then keep inventory close to customer and delivery to customer. Next, Nestle has solved its transportation problem by exploring ways to improve transportation 
by switching to other modes of transportation and identify less expensive mode of transportation. This transportation and logistic manager also focus on reducing the space of freight, increasing vehicle usage, and reviewing the strategy distribution network over time. And now, the third driver is information. Nestle provides a single, integrated, and standard system layout for all Nestle business worldwide, enabling them to operate efficiently. This system provide important advantage for key business function and is very compressed in many areas from logistics to manufacturing. Next, there are disruption impact on the information on the infrastructure in Nestle company. So, Nestle has used uh, ERP, which is Enterprise Resource Planning, to minimize the problem and increase efficiency. This is because ERP can integrate and automate many business practices while also control the business operations. And now, the fifth driver is sourcing. Nestle introduced working terms and method used with its supplier to ensure Nestle long-term supplier to of material and service. Nestle is also a source of income for its trade channel or directly from Nestle Farmer Contact Team to help customers. To help farmers. And then, Nestle identified um, 50 high risk raw material for environmental and social issues. This can help Nestle work closely with their supplier and direct partner to map their upstream supplier chain and conduct field assessment with partner organization in their upstream supply chain. And the last driver is pricing. Nestle use different pricing strategy, which bring different price range from affordable to luxury products. Nestle primary target market is middle class consumer, but it also brings some product to the upper class markets. And lastly, Nestle main problem is pricing strategy, as company find it difficult to raise price in the face of rising competitions and economic recessions. So Nestle has set competitive price to help boost sales, which has convinced investors to that they have been paying attention to the recent negative news from their counterpart. counterpart. Okay, thank you. My name is Lim Chonton. Next, I will present about the supply chain network design. From a supply chain modeling perspective, it is a complex project because it includes analysis of inflow and outflows transportation costs, route line and inventory issue, and most importantly, any risk and service factor should also be considered. The product flow is something that starts from the raw material to the product and to the consumer. The ensuring of the quality and the safety take press median time a day. The company ensure the highest possible standard Along the supply chain that start from the raw material, real packaging, distribution to the consumer. The product of Nestle are checked on the product line and as a result, the customer feel safe with the product, which increase the demand. Nestle company can design a procurement network that is integrated with the various department of the company and the procurement department can have information technology based on the application that are also integrated with the system of the suppliers and are automated. By using this system, the company have the concept of just-in-time man management applied in full spirit and the supplier will also be aware of the production schedule of the company and they will be able to plan their delivery and their own production planning according. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day to 1K. Uh, my name is Muhammad Haji Husaini and now I'll present my part 
uh, which is the sustainable supply chain management strategy for Nestle company. Okay, so far there is four strategies which, which Nestle used, which is the first one is uh, profiling the consumers. Uh, Nestle believes in a strategy they call brand building the Nestle way. BBNW can create products that appeal to the consumers. Uh, Nestle is very engaged with their customers, uh, specifically over the online venues, uh, which uh, Nestle excels at interacting with real life consumers on social media. Uh, this proven uh, with uh, Nestle has 850 Facebook pages for various brands carry a total of 210 million fans. Okay, we go on to the second strategy which is uh, responsible sourcing. Okay, Nestle goes to great lengths to track their food and products origins, thus ensuring that they are compiling with ethical practice. Uh, this honorable attitude gains Nestle loyalty from both their suppliers and their consumers. Uh, Nestle also secure uh, overall, uh, Nestle can secure supply of high quality agricultural ingredients. Uh, essential to ensuring the long-term sustainability of Nestle business. Uh, with uh, the responsible sourcing program, uh, they can uh, it assists Nestle to know where their ingredients comes from, and also they know how they are produced, and to address environment and social issues issues uh, such as deforestation, human rights, and animal welfare. Uh, next strategy is uh, acquisition for better product diversity. Uh, Nestle has uh, over 2,000 unique brands and 10,000 products on the market. Uh, the company supply chain uh, relies on acquisition, acquisition as they are consistently bringing new companies into their form. Okay, uh, by buying uh, the foremost competitors, uh, Nestle eliminating any threats and gaining access to this company supply in the process. Okay, and lastly is uh, Zero West Company. After a media backlash in 2010 against Nestle environment practice, uh, Nestle has moved quickly to revamp its policies, which is they implement a no deforestation policy. Uh, Nestle prioritized to eliminate their waste in their upstream supply chain. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum to Puan K. I hope you are doing fine. Selamat berpuasa. My name is Jawahir Binti Matajudin and I am going to explain about the recommendations on how the company can solve the issue or problems and improve the strategic feed of its supply chains. So basically, there are three issues problem that occur in Nestle company, which is the first one is the disruptions of operations due to raw materials. And second problem is disruptions impacting technology infrastructure. And the third one is the shifting warehouse model causes Nestle to cut 4,000 jobs and there are three strategy which is the first one is is the systematic transportation and distribution on system and the second strategy is vendor management and the third strategy is infrastructure technology so now I am going to explain the recommendations on how the company can solve the issue problem. For the first point is problem with disruptions of operation due to shortage of raw materials. The first point is continuous collaboration with supplier and business partner contractors in the other company with the right policies and significant process. And the second point is should control and systematic observing in order to secure good quality and product service. And the third point is upgrade monitor and supply chains operations maintainable. Okay, I give an example. 
for instance, should have better prevention regarding, I mean, Nestle should have better prevention regarding health and risk that comes from the manufacturing preparation, management of maintenance, manufacturing supply of finished goods, and of all products and services. Next recommendation of the second problem is contingency plans along with policies and control whereby Nestle should be displaying to defend and secure compliance and both infrastructure and data. The recommendations of the third problem is the first point, understanding Nestle should understand the individual risk element of each employee in the organization. The second point is Nestle should, should generate a letter service of essential service. And the third point is Nestle should prepare like a care package of each employee to secure them in order to prevent the employee uh, from high risk. The next one, I will present the recommendations on how the company of Nestle can improve the strategic fits of its supply chains. So the first recommendations of the first strategy is to minimize energy use in order to create better results of environmental sustainability. The second point is Nestle should decrease in greenhouse gas because it can improve the effectiveness in transportation and distribution activities. The, sec the third point is Nestle should sustain in partner relationships with the supplier. Second recommendations of the vendor management is the first point, understanding consideration of organization and vendors' roles with vendor management with the introduction of information technology. And the second point is Nestle should increase the, in the use of information technology tools to generate vendor relationships. Third recommendations of information technology is Nestle should change in the company use of data such as machine, machine learning, advanced analytics, and introduce industry 4.0 capabilities of supply chains and manufacturing. And Nestle should also apply data warehousing. That's all from me. Thank you.